All right. So yeah, the how I'm doing this particular spread is the environment, the uh, challenge, the or obstacle, the unexpected, and the outcome card. All right. Interesting. I'm just looking at both of these. All three of these are pointing towards the same direction. She's looking the other way, but her body is this pointing to the left. He's pointing to the left, and she's pointing to the left. It feels like to me, looking at these cards, and they're not, I'm looking now at the camera. These are not straight, are they? Okay. It looks like they're all trying to get to this environment card, like all working towards the sun card, which is right here. This is a major arcana card. Actually, you have two, this one, and this is major arcana. The sun card's very positive. It's you know, seeing the sun come out after after the rains, and I'm using that metaphorically, so any challenges, challenges in your life, upsets, you've worked hard to um, get over those humps, get over those hinders, and make it work for you. It could be physical work that you've, physical labor, that you've been doing, and you're starting to see the abundance and the income come in. Or at least there's the foundation for it to do so. I still feel like all of these cards are working towards this. They're working for you to make this happen. Interesting. And I'll get to those in a minute. Um, but as you can see here, this is not without a hard work, days well done, uh, to be able to feel the sun come out. You know, here's the wagon. It's done its work for the day, for the month, for the... Uh, semester if it's those of you who are in school um if you've been doing some hard work i think of course well that could you know that could be because we're seeing graduation time for a lot of areas whether that's high school college or uh, any type of school graduations coming up towards the second half of may so that could be you know you've done your work it could also be uh taking time out towards the end of may for you know, just rewarding yourself, honestly. I'm looking into my crystal to see if there's anything else that I get. And I'm taking over here to the light because it I can see in more depth what it's showing me. Yeah, um, you know, you are in that environment position, but there's still a goal that you're striving for. It's like the diamond in the rough. And... It, actually, there's a couple diamonds, but there, but there's one in particular that you are striving to reach. And it may have been on uh, last new moon that that was one of your intentions is to get to that goal. Um, make that certain amount of money or get the job that you want or be in the relationship you want. You know, it could be any of those things. But I do see that the foundation is here and you're striving to do that. You may not feel like you're there yet, but... It definitely is uh, is there for, in the offing for the making. You know, it's interesting as I'm looking at this crystal, I'm seeing um, well now it's like a horse around the mountains. Interesting. Okay. All uh, right. So I'm not sure what that means. Some of you may have felt like your work you've been workhorses, and um, yeah, this is a very distinct horse or mule, you know, uh, it could actually have been here. That's I haven't seen that in this crystal before. So you've definitely been putting in the time, putting in the work, putting in the effort um, and want to see abundance. And I think that some of you are starting to feel a lighter sense of, OK, I'm starting to achieve. I'm starting to get that feeling of abundance. Now, in your obstacle or challenge position, this is the Four of Cups. It says Four of Challenge, same thing. And this card represents to me having your emotional needs met, but you're still feeling restless. There's something that you, you still want to accomplish. And it could be part of this, you know, that diamond in the rough I was talking about a minute ago. Because as you can see, she's looking past these. They're beautiful cups. They're full. The cups are about our emotions. Our feelings can be in a romantic sense, or it can be the love for what we do in life. But see here, there's a, a guy that's come up to the to the door here, and he has another cup to offer. And she's looking away, like, "No, I'm, 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 I'm not interested. I'm still not there." Usually, this card means to me 
a sense of wanting more creativity in your life. That maybe you've, again, been that workhorse and you're needing to see some, um, maybe your creative juices flow. So for any of you that like to paint, draw, uh, do pottery, uh, something on the side. I get that with you Capricorn sometimes. It's very interesting to me. I have throughout the time I've done this channel, every so often I'll get the, you know, some of you are um, doing your hobby on the side and it always feels like it's tactile, like, you know, you use your hands. Um, but, you know, it may be your computer programmer. I'm just saying, I'm getting that it's... Um, this would be more creative. Now, you know, not to say that you may be putting together some software that is allowing you to be mentally creative. So it doesn't have to be just physically. But I do feel like some of you are wanting that to be a an enhancement in your life. And so you're looking for that. You're looking for that. You know, the third card, though, I really like that. It, it is the Page of Pentacles. And this is in your unexpected. And to me, this card always feels magical because here this, this kid is. He's playing with this big pentacle. The pentacle's about our money, our finances, our body, our health, our property. And the pentacles do represent the earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So I feel like you're going to have an, an unexpected way of bringing in more money, bringing in more income, um, getting a promotion, or at least hearing about one. The pages are young, so um, it may be that you hear about a position that you'd be interested in. It may be that you hear about a, a new venture that you're interested in undertaking. I feel like, all again, all of this is leading towards this happiness, this calmness, this peacefulness. Um, so this is the unexpected that comes up and you have all the tools of your trade. You have experience. So whatever you're offered or whatever comes your way, or you see it in your inbox or you get, you receive a letter in the mail, um, whatever it may be, a venture overseas, venture in your particular country or county, um, working with animals. I'm not, that could be the hobby thing, but the thing on the side, you know, it doesn't have to be computers or or um, or uh, what did I say a minute ago or little knickknacks that can be working with people or uh, children animals all those things landscape so I do feel like something's going to come up for you and it's going to excite you um, there's someone too behind the scenes that has helped pushing this forward and they are, they have a, a large presence. I don't know if they're a large person. It could be that, that they're, they're large and it's not like their largeness is overweight to the point of they can't move. I feel like they um, are just physically large, tall, maybe a little bit overweight, but um, they carry their weight well. Let me know in the comments below if if that makes sense to you. I'm just saying what I'm getting, looking into my crystal. Um, there's also, looks like there's either a shopping center or some sort of development, building development that could be happening for some of you, and it's that's coming together. I'm also seeing factories or, um, yeah, what are those round where you see the smoke coming out of the top? Um some sort of factory that you may own or that will help you uh, create the, the product that you're putting out in the world. You're in communication with a factory, a distributor. All right? So that feels really good for me, for you guys. Okay, and your last come, the outcome card is the High Priestess. And she's very intuitive. This is a major arcana card. This is a very intuitive person. She's um, very psychic. She goes with her feelings. She knows that she has everything inside of her that she needs. She doesn't have to look to the outside world to get it. She uses her instincts. If she walks into a room and it feels good, then she, you know, she knows that she belongs there. If it doesn't, then 
she doesn't belong there. And that's the same with people. If you meet someone that you have a great connection with and communication, then you know that you're using your instincts. If And you also know if a flag comes up that this is not the person to do business with. So she gets the cycles of life. And the moon, again, is about the intuition and see how she's creating uh, and manifesting by using the, the influence of the moon, honestly. Oftentimes, too, she will represent hidden secrets. So it may be that the outcome is that some secrets come out that you were not aware of, either in your business, your employees, your co-workers, your relationship. But this outcome feels like you needed to know it, and it helps you make some decisions and discern. Yeah, I feel like she's a positive force for you. So let's see if there's anything in the crystal that, um, you know, it's interesting too. I, I just saw this visual and this is a little bit different than what I've been talking about. But for those of you who enjoy parachuting or um, skydiving or that sort of thing, I'm... I just saw that in the crystal. So some of you may be enjoying that and it just feels like you're, you're free and you're, um, you know, it's making you happy. You're enjoying that day, that time. Yeah. All right. That's cool. All right, my friends, I'm going to add up the card. No, first I'm going to pull a couple of clarification cards. Sorry. I was going to, um, move too quickly here. All right. The queen of swords comes up as well as the moon card. The moon card's been coming a lot, up a lot too. So I'm going to talk about that one first. The moon card is about feeling like you can take steps in your direction and it's it sometimes can be a, a, a scary path or a, I, don't, I don't mean scary like you should be afraid, but it's taking those steps forward because it's, it's again, see the moon's, it's about using your intuition, looking up at the moon and getting these psychic hits and not looking at the reflection or the hidden agendas of other people. It's interesting. There's a lot of circles here. Um, so it feels to me like that you all, some of you anyway, are walking new paths, going down different roads. It could be a spiritual enlightenment. It could be um, different work than you've done before. But, you know, just pay attention to what you get in yourself. The Queen of Athames is the Queen of Swords, same as the Queen of Swords. I haven't seen her come up. She is very, well, first of all, she's an air sign, usually. She's an air, excuse me, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, sun, moon, or rising. She actually, a lot, a lot of times represents to me a Libra. But, you know, let me know in the comments below who she is in your life. I feel like for some of you, she's very positive and some of you, she's a challenge, but not one that you can't overcome. She's highly intellectual and you may say, well, I know a Libra that's not, but this particular person is whatever air sign she is in their butt, in the rear, <laughs> if you will. Um, yeah, because I'm seeing for some of you, you feel like she's the, the wicked witch flying on the broom. What is, which one is that in the, um, Wizard of Oz? I think it's the witch from the north. I, uh, I could be wrong. So if you know the Wizard of Oz, put in the comments below. But I do feel like that she is, you feel like she is contemptuous. She's, um, not evil, so to speak, but she just has a, a, a fractured state of mind is what I'm hearing. That sometimes um, maybe she's seems bipolar. I'll just put it that way. I'm not saying that she is, but, you know, she's up and down and she's all around. You know, even if she's a positive person to you, she could be a mother figure or someone who's a supportive friend. So that would be awesome. But I think if that's the case with her then, that she's a friend and someone you like, I feel like there's some issues going on with her. So this could be one of the air signs is having um, emotional or um, issues, physical issues, and you're 
you know, you're feeling bad for them. This could also be a pet, believe it or not. You know, I, <laughs> I do pet readings and I usually don't go by the birthday unless the owner knows the exact day of birth. It doesn't have, I don't have to know the time, but the day. If they don't know the day, because a lot of times we don't, if we, especially if we adopt, then I go by the name. But I'm feeling like this could also be a pet. So if you have a pet that you're taking care of and you're trying to nurse back to health, then um, the best to you on that as well. And, and it may be that this is a person that you're nursing back to health. So let me know who this Queen of Swords is in your life. Okay, and now I will count the cards or count the numbers here. So we have 19 and 4 is 23, 24, 25, 26. The high priestess is 2. Let me do this backwards. 2, 3, 7, and 9 is 26. So 2 and 6 is 8. 8 is a power number. 8 is the number of manifesting in numerology. It's very much of all the the numbers that are used, one through nine, plus the master numbers, it's manifesting um, materially, it, bridging the spiritual and the material together. So that might be you definitely doing that this particular month. And the eight in the major arcana is the same as the strength card. And so the universe, that's a major arcana calling you out to have inner strength and balance your your ego and your intuition, you know, this is about balancing your intuition or paying attention to it and paying attention to your earthly needs as well, your inner, your spiritual needs and your earthly needs. And, you know, that's, again, balancing the spiritual and the material together. 